and welcome everyone, Lanhart here with part one of my brand new Empire Total War Let's Play, playing as Great Britain with the Empire 2 overhaul mod. If you want to find out about Empire 2, link to it in the description, I highly recommend. Uh, that'll take you to their mod DB page, but I highly recommend you also join their Discord server for any uh, help getting it installed. They've got video installation guides available there, an FAQ and a general chat where you can ask questions about the mod and find out more. I am still very much um, a youngling when it comes to this mod. I've played probably about 20, 30 minutes of the mod so far, just testing stuff out. Um, so I don't really know all the ins and outs of it. Uh, so if you have used the Empire 2 mod recently, feel free to share um specific advice about it general empire total war advice as well is greatly appreciated because i haven't played empire total war for oh, i don't actually know how many years it's been since i last played empire total war i do know though that it has been 11 and a half years since i last did a great britain campaign on empire total war and that was with darth mod um one of my kind of really like og empire series so if you enjoyed that series, hopefully yeah, you're still here. You're back again for round two uh, as we dive into Empire 2, which I've heard really good things uh, about. Um, yeah, it's still like not perfect. There's still some areas that need polishing. Um, but as far as overhaul mods go, it's it's one of the top ones to look at. This and uh, PUA apparently are kind of like the, the latest generation of great mods for Empire Total War. That have sort of replaced an eclipse darth mod um so we're gonna be diving on in we're gonna be streaming and recording this series uh i don't have a dedicated schedule for uh youtube uploads of this series just yet but uh, for those watching on youtube you can expect this campaign to be released today uh friday the 25th of october saturday the 26th and monday the 28th and then i'll stream and record more next week probably daily or near daily uploads for the foreseeable future with this series as long as you guys are enjoying it if you are do feel free to leave a like or a dislike any rating is better than no rating and of course a comment uh, i'd love to see the comment section of part one filled with empire advice empire 2 advice and all the all important unit name suggestions every time we get a full 20 stack army we will be adding in your unit names both from the comment section on youtube and during the live streams as well let's jump on in in terms of difficulty we are going to play on very hard campaign difficulty and hard battle difficulty this is i've been advised recommended not to play on very hard battle difficulty unless you want to be prepared for enemy units never really having their morale breaking unless you wipe them out to incredibly low numbers um so i'm gonna have it on hard which apparently is pretty reasonable a good balance there we are gonna go for a long campaign victory objective we may well turn it into a full-on world domination um i don't yet no i'd actually i'm assuming you can continue right once you hit your victory objectives uh but we'll aim for long campaign i'm happy just to achieve that if we're still enjoying it and we want to keep on pushing and the game allows then we will push on for a full world uh domination and make this be the true and total rise of the british empire uh, with all of the interactable game world being conquered under our glorious banner. But uh, yeah, let's uh, dive on in with Great Britain. Long campaign. Uh, we start with five regions. Very hard campaign. Hard battle difficulty. Those are the gameplay options that we are going with. So let our adventure in Empire Total War with the Empire 2 mod. It's Great Britain. Begin. Your first priorities as an island nation should be to ensure you have adequate naval defences in place, as a strong navy is the key to protecting your shores. Beyond that, maintain friendly relations with other Protestant nations, such as the United Provinces, Hanover, Prussia and Sweden, as the ever-present threats from Catholic France and Spain may require a joint action by allies in the near future. In addition to securing your position at home, look to the preservation of your colonies in America and the Caribbean. France and Spain are always interested in expanding their overseas territories, and your colonists will provide easy pickings for less scrupulous nations if left unprotected. There is also much unexploited territory in the Indian subcontinent. Gain a foothold here before your rivals do. The once mighty Mughal Empire is on the verge of falling apart, but it is still important to move swiftly. 
the up-and-coming Maratha Confederacy is ready to pounce and forge an empire of their own, so allying with them against the Mughals could be a useful strategy. It is especially vital to act in India before the French gain a foothold and begin to work against you as they have in America. Okay, where to begin indeed? Oh, it's good to be back, Empire Total War. The graphical tweaks they've made as well with this mod or incorporated with the mod looks stunning, actually. It's good to be back. Right. Have a looky, shall we? London paved roads. Uh, don't mind if I do. Let's Research get Isaac Newton new into Cambridge. May be ordered to do when do we have a... No villages growing. I think it's because we're all set, right? Oxford is set to be an inn. I am going to probably destroy that and change it over to be another school, another educational building for more research. Um, yeah, dismantle. We do have you a rake already. Rake by right uh, and I'm going to send you up towards Scotland to try and infiltrate. Agents. Getting all the advice because it's the first time I've loaded up Empire Total War for many, many years. I can't remember what my last Empire Total was. It wasn't my Marathon Confederacy. I've, I've played Napoleon more recently than Empire. Has it been ages? But yeah, we're going to go bring Scotland into the fold. Got this army over in Ireland. Henry uh, de Massu, Yeomanry, Pikemen, and Militia. Yeah, we can create forts as well. Uh, let's go into the port. I'm going to consolidate my forces a little bit. Bring our fleet here with Edward Russell, Admiral's flagship 5th rate, 5th rate Scepter, and 6th rate uh, Amphion. We pick him up. And I'm going to grab those guys onto the ships. Bring them over and spit them out here because we're going to assemble a northern army fairly rapidly. And I am... What am I going to do with you guys? Probably just control the channel at both ends for now. Um, we can kick out more ships or fire ship. Nice. Obviously, there's loads more units in this. That quite a few people warned me saying, "Get ready for the the massive unit bloat by the end of the campaign." Planning your construction needs. So I need to get ready for that. We've got the Bath Regiment. Right, some of these, yeah, they start taking like three turns to recruit. Uh, we need to get some trade ships as well. What's that? Reformed uh, Harkabusiers. Missile cavalry. That's pretty cool. Horse grenadiers. Dragoons. So many choices. What have we got here? So that's matchlock militia. So cheap and cheerful if you want to leave them to just guard, guard behind. But we shouldn't need to worry so much here. Oh yeah, we now have a culture system, don't we, as well? English and Celtic. Do we have what does our culture? I thought it might be the conservatory. Barracks requires loads of technology as well, so I want to get through that quickly. Happy, that's a lot of happiness. Oh, cultural unrest. There we go, minus one percent. So that I don't know if that'll flip it. So you can see our culture in there as well. It's building which needs research to convert to a pro, uh, culture. Okay. Armory is all we need. Canister shot to get that. Right. I think I'm just going to spend it. Get some recruits going. We're going to want to send our troops north to conquer Scotland. But they're going to start gathering up troops as well. Plus we'll need something for whatever happens in Europe. Lord Cuts Regiments. These are all like elite ones, aren't they? Are they, sm are they smaller in size than some of the others? Those pikemen. 
for infantry about 240. Match lock infantry, late line infantry, range of 75, accuracy of 35. Kind of want to just gauge the stats so I know what I what's worth going for. And also then these special units. They've got slightly further range. And then it's like better defense and morale. They've got reasonable defense to match lock infantry. Lord Admiral's Maritime Regiment of Foot. Oh, they're very, very, very nice. Late Guard Musketeers. They take three turns. I am going to go for... What's their upkeep cost, actually, by comparison? You're not too bad. I'm going to go for the line infantry, the Bath Regiment. Get four of them in straight away. We've got some demi cannons here, pikemen and militia. And then we've got John Churchill, general staff. This panel shows you the information about That's a very small unit. Okay, we've got some musketeers of the line, militia, pikemen, yeomanry. Okay, what I'll do is send you guys north. And uh, when you sort our growth log, so no villages are growing, minus 1.3. So go to our farms. Farm, it's got a low yield. If we upgrade peasant farms, that gives us plus 0.05 population growth. So that won't completely fix it, but it will certainly take us in the right direction. Do our ports also help? Not exactly. Peasant farms there, so we need to get the common land enclosures. Actually, there's probably some technology in there. The population growth impact of farms. Okay, that's good. Oh, and food shortages. Yeah, there's, there's there's quite a few new features that I really need to try and keep an eye on. I'm going to keep doing, zooming out like that. Um, Weaver's house. There's loads of wealth there. Reduction, 1% upkeep cost for all naval units. Amazing. Or simply lower taxes. Oh, yeah, there is that. We could do that. Lower the lower things for the middle classes. How much does that affect things? Not terribly. Stimulate some growth early on. 30 turns until Liverpool is developed on that. America does have separate tax. Yeah, that's why I loved about this, like the governor system. Yeah, Rupert's Land is very unhappy right now. Just pop over here. We'll pop back in a minute because I've barely done it. Oh, it's the upper classes though. Nobility. So I can fix that by lowering it. It doesn't really cost us a huge amount, but that's going to help for a little bit. We've got a huge amount of growth because immigration from home theatre. Uh, I'm going to, before I forget, what can we check in? What was those? New England companies, musketeers. Oh, they look cooler in their portrait than that, but I think it's just like a stock placeholder one to be fair. Uh, I wouldn't mind getting some of you guys, but I need a fix, a single turn fix much quicker. Civilian, Aquabusiers, Militia. More accurate. Let's chuck three of them in. That should then get us evened out. Back to Europe, back to London. Um, I am going to keep the tax where it is actually at the moment. Ah, you know what? You guys are right. It is the fishing wharfs I want. That does growth for us. We've got so many ports, which is great. Um, the weavers, I might come back to that, but I need to check out my other holdings. So I'm just assembling my armies here for now. We don't need multiple for multiple generals, so I'm going to send Henry down here. Ah, oh, I love having armies without generals being required. Please, Total War, go back to that system. Much better. Uh, school and Agent. Isaac Newton in there. Um, we can also use Agents of Steel technology, right? If I'm not mistaken. Let's go to Diplomacy as well. Winning Nations. Basically, the, oh, the Islamic Emirate. That used to be it's the Tunisian rebels, isn't it? Right. Who can we get some trade with? Savoy. 
Their demands is some money. Uh, I'll accept it because we'll probably make our money back shortly. In fact, let's, what's our income right now? 2,783. Let's check that after we dump in a load more trade agreements. Prussia. Trade. They also want some gold. That's fine. Venice. Yep. Marath Confederacy. Arthur Abbey. Yeah, I remember my Marath campaign. Let's get trade. That should be very lucrative for us. And I won't quite go to an alliance yet. We'll see what happens. Oh, Scotland. No, 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 no. Cancel. My bad. Scotland. Uh, I need to take you out. Sorry. You must become one. Is that, there, there isn't a join me option, no. <laughs> Okay, that's everyone I can trade with there. Any of the minor nations? No, I think we're all set. Uh, I've got 30 colonies as a protectorate. Yeah, I think we should get a mission to actually bring them into, like, claim their regions, right? All right, let's see what our income's going up to. Okay, yeah, that's fine. Yeah, it's fine. What is highest thing on the trade market? Obviously, slaves. Uh, then cotton, sugar, tobacco, furs. Pretty good, actually. We got that over in... Uh, Rupert's land, don't we? Right, let's head on over here. First of all, Port Royal. Um, I kind of feel like early moves just be get throw in a load of militia to hold ground. So I'm going to throw in a load of these civilian equipusiers. And definitely get some roads in as well. Nassau as well. You've really got a reasonable little force, but let's give you a militia contingent. The income of a plantation. And what was higher... Coffee or sugar? Coffee 17, sugar way higher. Let's go for a sugar plantation. Is it even imp is it even possible to become independent as 13 colonies? Uh, I believe so, yeah. If you play as them. The mod does it. What have we got here? Brig. Uh, sloop. Sloop. Because there'd be some pirates over here. Oh, they've all got kind of like red sails. 40 gun ship of the line. The Kraken. Oh, let's go hunt for the Kraken. Have I got more ships I can bring? Yeah, these guys. Here we go. John Leakey. Fifth rate and a sixth rate. Dumbarton Castle. Right, we'll do that once we play the rest of our moves. And we'll dive on in for a, a naval battle. Um, you guys just chilling all through here. I can't do anything with the colonies. That's all on them. But obviously getting them... Rather than just being a protector, it would be very beneficial for us. Um, where is there a university? Is there a university in Montreal or Quebec? Because otherwise, I'd be tempted to send you, Robert Watson, back to England. You're useful for, um, for stealing technology. So I'm going to send you over towards the French, also you can scout stuff out for me. I'd love that watchtower system to come uh, back do into not play. Concentrate the construction of military buildings within a single region. No, no, I won't. Don't worry about it. Oh, fur market. That's going to get us a lot more gold. Oh, and we've got that one to upgrade there. I wonder if I'll get money from the naval battle, though, maybe. Um, what are we researching as well? Let's do some research. Uh, we've got With military, military thinking, industrial... Okay. And philosophy. Looks like there's loads more being added in here as well, especially on the military side. Although, again, it's been so long, I don't know if I'm just forgetting stuff. We've already got plug bayonets, which is useful. I love that, though. I love that as an animation where you just can see them take out their bayonet and shove it in the end of their, their musket. That is genuinely a delight. The little things like that. Uh, square formation would be useful when dealing with cavalry. Adds national prestige. Oh, yeah, prestige was the thing. This is like, I felt like with the prestige thing, it was almost trying to be like Civ in a way of giving you different victory objectives and you had prestige. Um, I'm kind of tempted by canister shot, to be honest, because we know I know that's powerful. Um, upkeep form, but we're not going to rely on artillery 
too, too much just yet. We've already got limbers. I can see all the different units. I think, yeah, I'm, I'm inclined to go for the common land enclosures for the growth that we saw that we need for upgrades as well. So let's do that. Let's go for land enclosures. That's why we're going to need so many um, universities in this. So we'll convert Oxford straight away. Um, that's fine. Right. I don't think there are any more moves we needed to make. We've moved all our ships here. Let me just check, actually. I should be able to see lists. The lists panel gathers together. Armies, London, Richard Savage. Um, yeah, we should send you guys actually north. Um, what have we got already? What composition? Got more pikes coming in there. More militia, yeomanry, yeomanry. And I'm recruiting all those guys, so we could probably leave the pikes behind, but we'll take that cannon. Anything that gives us that kind of advantage. I mean, I could have recruited more from Ireland to bring them up. Oh, I could have done, but I, I can't anymore. It's really nice. There's obviously lots of local regional recruitment stuff as well, because we've got very different stuff. Also, probably just based on what buildings we have, which is really cool to see as well. Uh, Moose Factory, you're staying there. Nassau, yeah, you're staying there. This, this Check our fleets. Make sure we've moved them all. In the this tab lists and I haven't missed anyone. Yeah, that's all good. Right. Let's have a naval battle. In we go. Fishes. You shall sleep with the fishes. In we go. Ah, ministers, yes. Ministers, the chat cries out. Ministers. The radar map in the we need to look at that. Of the screen shows the position of your ships and those enemies that are visible. The plus and minus buttons allow you to zoom the map in and out. In and out. In the center indicates yeah, okay, chill. Chill, calm. Come, 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 come. Sleeps and that one. Nope. Ordering your fleet into line astern. I just check my sound settings. That sounds very loud for effects. Speech. Has that weird bug where it's uh you touch the sound settings and it instantly drops them down a bit. Where is the wind? Okay, it's behind us. That's good. That's useful. I'm going two columns. I don't again, I don't know much of the balancing of this mod. So I don't really know how much things have changed. But you just fire one out your front your front bow. Wow. Fast forward it. I mean, this is the thing that I love most about Empire. The naval battles. Buggy, clunky as they are, it's just seeing the Age of Sail brought to life like this is stunning. can steal the crane. I could try and board it. I'll need to whittle it down first. It's got nearly as many guns as my uh, fifth rate. All right. Now, turn. I don't know if it's still a valid strategy of going for their sails and then going in for the capture, but I think I'm just going to try and blast these guys a little bit, especially the smaller ones. Oh, wow. One, that's a loud sound effect. And two the improved graphical effect on that looks great. Oh, we're really clearing out their cannons nicely. What I'm hoping is get around behind it and then rake it from both sides. Oh, please say the guns are ready. In fact, let's just try and knock out this one, the Kraken's sails quickly. Come on, reload already. Here we go. They're reloaded. Well, they're reloading. Here we go. I don't know if it's going to take down sails this close. 
a little bit of damage. Uh, do you know that you need to be incredibly close to utilize Grape Shot? Otherwise, it just doesn't do anything. Yeah, I'm just going to turn down the... Um, sound effects down because they're very loud. I'll go for the Grape Shot, actually, if I can. That seems better. Oh, are they trying to... Are they trying to board me? Oh, it's doing good damage, that Grape Shot. They're losing crew like crazy. That's just shot through their own ship. Thanks, guys. Thanks, AI. Mwah. You beauty. Oh, you recommend turning off uh, SSAO? Thank you. Try and turn around. It doesn't do better with, with SSAO off. Uh, screen space. Uh, ambient occlusion, right? It's meant to be an enhanced way of doing smarter shadows, right? But it does have a tendency to bug out, I think, at times. Knock their sails out so they can't come in to reinforce. Oh, yeah, we got we got their front mast. If we can bring their main mast down, then the Kraken is trapped. And then I should be able to just grape shot it nicely and then board it and take it. I do know that boarding does come cause some issues in, in this mod, though, because there is a no boarding sub mod. But I think as long as you go for a ship of roughly the same shape and size, you should be fine. Yeah, I'm expecting battles just in general to take a lot longer. These first few episodes will probably... I mean, this first episode hopefully will be about an hour. And then probably parts two and three will be about 40 minutes each. But I'm hoping that I'll be able to put in some solid amount of time streaming and recording this over the next couple of weeks. So that the... The aim will probably be to have like hour long episodes being the standard and the norm most of the time. Go full sail. Uh, you could probably go up around behind it that way. I mean, I reckon you could just go up for a board on it. That one stay there because it's literally staying straight at you. Switch to canister as well. That won't have done that much damage at that range, which is unfortunate. But that's fine.
Coming into dock. Breaking them down. That one's going. There we go. Just keep blasting. Just keep blasting. Here we go. Jump across, chaps. Oh, knocked over. Take the ship. Swash, buckle, buckle, swash. How do you zoom in like that? I've played this game since I was 12. Uh, press the N button on your keyboard. It was first introduced in Empire Total War and is in, I think, every Total War since. Pressing N does this uh, dynamic kind of cinematic zoom and you can then use your mouse wheel to zoom in further. It also, if you ever want to zoom in for nice uh, close-ups, you want to do or get screenshots, you want to do it while you're in end zoom mode, uh, just because it actually forces the game to render the units that are at kind of their best quality, rather than sometimes when you're zoomed out, it doesn't always get the best uh, rendering quality. This this forces their sprites to be fully rendered in view. Lost quite a few crew, but we're 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 doing it. They've surrendered. Huzzah! The ship is ours. That one's routing. Let's turn you round. Play. When you're back on ship, feel free to fire at this one coming in. Take out its sails as well if you can. I'm trying to get this one to sail around behind it. Kraken is mine. Solid ship as well. Oh. What? Oh, I'm routing because of the casualties we sustained. No! Leaky! That one surrendered now. Good.
Bring it down, bring it down, bring it down. Come on, just rally right now, Achilles, and blast. That'd be stunning. Yeah, whole strength of these ships or just firepower, just, I would say. I wouldn't mind it being tweaked a little bit. Oh, yeah, firepower's quite low on that, but I mean, you're not exactly a, a powerful ship, so it'll be interesting to see when you get more powerful ships where the battles get a little bit quicker or whether they're just very slow in this mod because I think you just do very small damage. So it's going to be more... I mean, maybe it's a bit more reflective. It's probably going to be more more of a valid strategy to uh, well take out sails stop their maneuverability then come up close grape shot them and then board and capture potentially let's fast forward it just need this one gone it's done a fair bit of damage to that one I was hoping the morale might drop a bit more, having lost its sail. We'll just play a lot on fast forward. Yeah, that's true. Oh, it's starting to go. Come on, wavering. Ah, Leaky keeps coming back and then breaking again. His morale is leaky. Him from behind. An enemy ship there we has go. Run out of courage and is fleeing. Beautiful. Heroic victory. Adam, hello. Thou lookest AI generated. Okay, we've got a brig and we got the 40 gun ship of the line. I'm going to take the Kraken. And I think I'm going to scupper that brig. Give us the prize. That's actually decent prize money. Take that. Ready for um, we'll bring you in to Port Royal. My repairing would uh, cost most of my money I've just taken, but yeah, it needs doing. What ships can I get? A fully rigged Pinance. Are those both trade ports? I assume so, yeah. Cool, cool, cool. Right, ministers was the fun thing I needed to check for this first turn. 76% government popularity. Nice. Family tree. Other Clements. George. Hi, George. Um, you like uniforms and you're lewd and loose. Next election in nine turns. Who have we got? Sydney uh, Godolphin as our head, our prime minister. John Smith, Chancellor of the Exchequer. Something of a banker, capitalist, and incorruptible. He's perfect for treasury management. Justice, uh, Chief Justice, we have William um, Alper. Upright, Comptroller. The army, we've got George Clark, Secretary at War. And the Navy, John Egerton, First Lord of the Admiralty. Fond of sailors, incorruptible and devout. And then we've got the opposition. Uh, I actually might just fire Sidney Godolphin. He has a mistress and a confidential secretary. Um, Something of a banker. Yeah, you're... you're you're just not well chosen for this. I'm going to give you the boot. Ah, look at that. Benedict Thorne. Perfect. You look 
like you've seen some stuff for a 25 year old mate uh you're honest status quo born uh vivint vivint bon vivint not born i always used to think that was that was born vigilant for some whatever reason born vivint bon vivint rather uh an agrarian so you're now generating me one prestige per turn, plus six diplomatic relations, and plus three per turn to town wealth in home theatre. That's really good. He's seen stuff. Yeah, we've got William, William the Third, William of Orange. And then Elliot Forbes. Um I can't I can only fire one minister a turn, by the way, but we might get rid of um Elliot Forbes. You don't do things for me. Right now. Rupert's land, yeah, we're trying to sort that out. If we can, right. Let's finally have our first end turn. So let's head back to Europe and end turn. Not, uh, not Master Godolphin from God of Golfin House in Cornwall. Could perhaps be. Oh, the Empire! Ally attacked uh, Portugal. Uh, I've always had a, had a good history supporting Portugal. Um, enter the side of the ally. It gives me, gives me an in to India. War has begun. Absolute monarchy can fire everyone constantly. Constitutional monarchy can only fire one a turn. Republic fire one a turn. Oh, cool. Today I learned. Goa probably will fall before I can get there. Um, there has been an eruption of national pride in your home region following your victories on the field of battle. Oh, wonderful. Every time a battle is won or a territory conquered, the populace become more fervent in their support of the war. This is indicated by increased happiness. Oh, oh. <laughs> I love that. Oh. <laughs> That's broken. Farms. Letter of demands. Right. So a rebellion will spawn next turn. Although it shouldn't do now because we have now placated them. It shouldn't now spawn further stuff. Uh, our income. Yeah. We, we've got to invest economically. Mission issued. Capture regions. A mission has been issued. Is the general consensus that the task stipulated here should be achieved for the good of the nation. Objective. Uh, conquer Georgia, Cherokee Nation, and New France. Description, the leaders of the 13 colonies suggest that you ensure the future dominion of Britain in the Americas by consolidating your control over the surrounding area. If you succeed in capturing the regions of Georgia, Cherokee, Nation, uh, Cherokee Territory, and New France, the 13 colonies will be yours to command. Be sure to maintain friendly relations with them until this union is secured. Reward of 13 colonies will join your nation rather than just being a protectorate. So... What we need to try and do. Nobility is your letter of demands. Uh, dangerous levels. The fur shop is what I would like to put in there. But I'm kind of holding off right now. Um, because it's going to be a lot of it. It's going to be cultural unrest. Yeah, 18. How can I convert that? Because, yeah, that's good. we're going to constantly struggle with that. Although, by the looks of things, we've probably got it sorted by doing that, haven't we? Oh, is that actually... That makes no difference now. We've just... Oh, because of the repression. Are they actually not taking anything native? Oh, tax burden is four. What do I lose there? Town watch, repression. I just I lose repression by lowering the tax. It's interesting. I'll drop it. Tax burns at one, but that's still affecting things negatively. It's because I lose the the town watch, so it cancels out. Right. I was like, what? Churches convert culture. Okay, so we we'll need to get some of them. Oh, yeah, because the cultures re replace the religion mechanic. I'm gonna say, what was that? What's that in place of? It's religion, isn't it? Yeah. Um. Right. Well, I'm, there's no point in having it lower anymore because that's not doing me any favors. Might as well keep the tax rate there, although it's not, it's not having an effect on growth. It is having an effect, well, not population growth, but it is having an effect on economic growth. I'm 
but we can probably fix that with just other stuff. Um, let's just leave it for now. Because if we leave it taxed, that will the national summary allow us to recruit probably a another unit. Um, a late general's bodyguards. Yeah. Does that instantly give me a general as well? Is that way of, a way of getting a better general's bodyguard? Who's cheap upkeep? Oh, these guys. Okay, right. Yeah, I'm going to give you two more of them. Recruitment. Oh, yeah, we've done, we've done a lot of recruitment. Denmark and Sweden at war. Russia and Sweden at war. Prussia and Poland and Lithuania. United you know, Provinces and Spain. And Maximilian Davis has gained a mistress. Who is that? Oh, there's another Godolphin there. Uh, yeah, you, Forbes, are going. Bye bye. Oh no. Terence Bacon, you're even worse. You'll have to go next time. Uh, right. Let's get my rake into Edinburgh. Nice. Right, we'll send Henry this way. Bring up the line infantry. Uh, we will assemble all at York. Assemble the army. Yeah, because you can promote anyone as the general that way as well. So I don't know what that bodyguard is specifically for. Um, the old royal cannon, 64 pounders. Are they just re are they immovable? Yes. But they're massive. What is their firepower? 140. How's that compared to a demi cannon? Oh, it's 40 versus 140. Good range. I actually wouldn't be opposed to that. That's all I can afford though, isn't it? I was just like, why is that? Why can't I get anything else yet? Lord Cut's regiment. Yeah, let's get one of those in there as well. Am I right? I'm thinking you need to take agents out of a settlement before the you attack it, otherwise you end up life. killing them. Oh yeah, how do I get um how do I get Indian men? Do I um I should forget in this mod. Can can you trade with anyone? Uh can well can any ship take over a trade node? Ah, here we go. Indian men, trade ship. Or do you need Oh, there's a late Indian men as well. Oh, they're way more powerful. Right, they're your basic trade ships. These are the proper Indian men. Is it only those that can trade? Or is it only trade ships? Hmm. Any ships can trade. Oh, cool. Oh, hang on. What's this? Gibraltar? That's going to be, that's gonna be a, a contentious point, probably. But needs must. Souls. Um, right, uh, over to India. Rip Goa, most likely. Who else is at war with the Moroccan Confederacy? Mughal Empire. Portugal. Austria. Well, we can trade. Damn. Uh, Krim Khanat. Tetra of the Ottomans. Just open for trade right now. Denmark, hi. How you doing? Nope. Apparently it's unacceptable. France. Um, I'm not at war with you yet. No? Okay. Fine. Knight St. John. So, boy, you want a lot, don't you? Um, a military alliance as well. I'm not... That's quite a lot to... I'll give you the plug technology. There we go. Okay, that was enough. I don't know if I want to get committed to an alliance with you just yet. 
I could give Denmark. Who are they at war with? Sweden. Already it's the clash of the Scandinavians. Could play both sides in return for trade. Oh, uh, no, I can't buy them at trade capacity now. Unfortunately. Got some solid forces here. We need to go try to take out the pirate bases. Because those will also open up some pretty tasty territory. Although we also need to keep dealing with enemy ships. A galleon, blue badger. It's a lot of firepower, right? 148. Yes, way more firepower than just these have. Not the blue badger. Can I deal with the mighty blue badger? Is a small squad? I don't know, actually. But I also can't send more ships to support anytime soon. Do we risk hunting down the bluest of badgers? Send a unit to protect my port. I always remember that being a tactic. Uh, if your ships, they have a gold coin on it if they can trade. Oh, cool. So everyone but apart from my admiral. Nice. Orders received and understood. I mean, with the Kraken and Leaky, we should be okay. Buildings that have been damaged due to sabotage. Let's check my lists. I feel like I've forgotten someone somewhere that I want to do something with. You guys find ah uh ha. -huh. Yeah, keep moving you. As you desire. Sir, I must rest. Yeah, we've got to, we just got to consolidate and build up our economy right now so that we can then look to expand out because, yeah, don't get a lot of gold. Right. Well, and I think we'll find out if we can't take out the uh, famed blue badger. With our combined naval forces. But for those watching on YouTube, I think that will be at the start of part two. Until then, hope you've enjoyed. Take care and ciao for now.